All right, even with the family here, I'm going to try and give you guys a quick preview of what's going on. As you can see, my son is making some nice sound effects in the background. All right, this is Cute Orbiter running on Raspberry Pi. Don't even know if you can see that. All right, um, as you can see, splash screen, blah, blah, blah. Start it. Hey, there it is. All right, I'm gonna run through a couple quick things. This is all keyboard control today. Keyboard is basically stand in for remote control. So I'll bring up the menu and find some go with videos so you guys can get an idea of the performance. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I admit the GUI is a little rough right now, but keep in mind this is all keyboard controlled, which is kind of the important part. If you've got a framework for switching between all the necessary menus and things to control the various elements. Um, I'm going to jump to... there it is. And... Alright, so this is just what the remote display would look like. We don't have the video up yet. It's playing on my actual TV over here. I'll show you guys I even have bring up a sub menu. We've got our time code running and everything else. So you've got pause and other things implemented. Even our volume controls. As you can see the IR blinker going. and obviously all of our HA functions. So that's just a preview of Raspberry Pi Q Orbiter. Um, there will be more soon.